Hello folks and welcome to the channel. I am currently in Seville in Spain at the official tyre launch of the Michelin Road 5. Pretty cool though folks isn't it? We're just saying it's February and we just had a little jolly, but all paid for, let me add, um, by Michelin to <laughs> this beautiful bike in paradise. Absolutely absolutely blown away. And uh, so so grateful to be invited. Thank you very much, Mr. Michelin Man. I'm going to try tracing her. So that one's for you, Jimbo. Where is she? Where is she? Where's your one? Blue one. Cool. Right, Jimbo, I'm going to try your chaser. Tracer, even, not chaser. Give this one a shot, then. Oh, what beautiful location. Yeah. You, see, you, you wouldn't believe it could be, it could go from being as cold as it was this morning to how hot it is now. It's got to be, it's got to be 25, had I said. What's the plan for the meal tonight? Are we in the same restaurant as last night or? Different one tonight, so I don't know. Cool. I haven't uh, looked it up or anything. Yeah. But... Oh, enjoy yourself. Okay, mate. Oh, yes, I can stand up straight. Here he comes. Come on, bib. <laughs> oh, that throttles uh, right on the money. There's no like roll on or roll off, it's just uh, on or off. I do like this being upright though. I think my next toy must be one of this kind of style. So I'm definitely interested in trying out the Triumph Tiger 1200 XCA. Please, Mr. Triumph. Please, Mr. Triumph. Seville. Jim would have been right as rain up that bloody track on this. No wonder he didn't moan. Jimbo, making out you were struggling going up that track in Picos. I bet you were bloody loving it. <laughs> Oi! I love the upright position, I do. I'm going to try a load of bikes like this. The Triumph's the only one I really like the look of. Obviously, I'm more into looking at stuff and taking photos and riding than, um, than flying hell for leather with my head down. It's a lovely riding position, this is. Lovely engine, though. Well, as you'll know, I'll never sell my VFR ever. But eventually, I'd like another, another bike to go with it, you know, keep a company in the garage. But I like something with character, because the VFR is full of character. Hence the reason it's so popular and so well loved. I can't believe the difference in power between this and the MT-10. Now this is the MT-09, isn't it, Tracer? And then there's the MT-10 that we did this morning on the wet track. So it was a handful, it really was. Yeah, I do, I do really love the upright position. This one's quite similar, you can just stay in third.
Ready for a beer or two tonight with no worry about having to blow a breath test tomorrow. So it's out for a meal tonight and then fly home tomorrow, back home. Fly from Seville about 12 I think, uh, from Seville to Schiphol, Amsterdam, where I'm, uh, I have a layover of about four hours I think, then from Schiphol to back to Birmingham. So let's recap on what bikes I've been on today then, so Street Triple R, MT10, BMW 1000 XR, Ducati 939 Super Sport, Kawasaki Z1000 and Yamaha MT-09 Tracer. Don't know how many that was, six, seven. Well, folks, Seville is beautiful. These roads that we've been riding today are bloody superb. Yes, I think, boys, we're gonna have to organize uh, a trip down, down this way at some point. What's got a bit best bike for me today? BMW, hands down, that 1000 XR. I felt perfect on that straight away. Great bike. Well, for the little time I had on it. So if Mr. BMW would like to lend me one of them for a while to make a proper long-term review of, I'd be happy to nurse one for you for a while. Any business inquiries on any videos? or anything you want to talk about business-wise for my channel or sponsorship or anything like that I'm definitely open to some sponsorship rich at wildbadtouring.com I want to say a massive thanks to Ultima Add-ons as well for sending me some, some more stuff I've used Ultima Add-ons for quite a long time as you all know because I uh, regularly point people in their direction for your for your uh, waterproof cases and things like that and they contacted me the other day basically just to say uh, we've heard that you've been mentioning our company on your videos and, uh, and basically just to say thank you and I thought that was lovely thank you for mentioning our company I've not mentioned it for any other reason than that uh, I like their products and it's like anything isn't it uh, we all try these products and you have to go through a few turkeys before you find ones that you're happy with so thank you to you guys for getting on board. I think my hands might be down to these leather gloves, you know, be honest, to be honest, because they're going again already. I wonder if uh, I could retrace, of course I could, it's all, it's all on camera. I'm gonna say retrace this room. Get down to Monte Blanco circuit. And, um, and then follow the room. Because I tell you, it's been mega. <laughs> It really has. Mm, hands. It's got to be these gloves. I think they must just be squeezing the life out of my hands. This has got loads of grunt when you give it some. It sounds nice when you give it some as well. my analytics the other day for the first time on my channel in uh, first time in ages and basically your analytics tell you who watches your videos where they watch them male or female age all that kind of stuff your subscribers versus non-subscribers and I've found that whoa that 70% um, of my views are non-subscribers no chance I'm talking there. Yeah, non-subscribers, 70%. So we need to turn that around, don't we, folks? If you like the if you like the videos, you like the channel, hit the subscribe button, press the little bell, and you'll not miss any more videos. But yeah, let's turn these views into subscriptions.
Press that subscribe button, press the little bell, and you'll never miss any more videos. You'll get a notification every time I upload one. And you can join me on many, many, many more trips like this. Hot sticky tarmac abroad, anything to do with touring, photography, aerial photography, general, you know, handsomeness, that kind of thing. Back to the cold tomorrow. <laughs> well, it's been an experience. Let's hope it's the first of many on this channel, things like this. And I don't just mean jollies for me, but, you know, something of a bit of a different, uh, different content. Weirdly, hardly any bugs. And I had to clean my visor once and it's um, spotlessly clean. I suppose that's a summer thing, isn't it? You know what it's like, folks, when you go on tour, especially into Europe in the summer. You, every fuel stop, you've got to douse your visor and clean it because you can barely see through it. But all the death all over it. It does sound quite angry, this does, when you give it some. It hasn't got the performance to match the sound, though. It's not slow by any means. But it sounds a lot angrier than what it actually uh, does. But a great road and a great ride as well. Thank you, uh, thank you again to Michelin for organising and inviting me on this. It's not something you get to do every day, is it, folks? It is a big shame I couldn't film on the track this morning because you'd have got me scared to death in the on the wet one. And then you'd have got me giggling like a girl on that BMW, on the dry one. What a great day. Beautiful this is. I'll swap you for the speed triple. What's that? I'll swap you for the speed triple. Oh, he's, he's gonna have the speed triple. Yeah, you jump on that then, yeah? Oh, yeah, cool. I'll take that then. Oops, sorry, mate. Right then, I am now on my 48th bike for today. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to finish this trip up on the speed triple. Speed triple then. This one's for you, Carlos. This feels solid. I like this straight away. how it feels with everything else but the actual bike feels really solid and planted it's been a great day it's been an education actually trying all these different bikes in the same day very very comfortable this is okay a bit of a thing on the throttle there that I like this feels great. Oh, 
love this. It does feel very, very solid, this bike does. Either I'm going really slow or they're going really fast, and so I've lost them. Ah, they all up. Got some grunt, I'll give it that. I really like this bike. The bloody right car last lad. Great bike this is. Loads of grunt, super smooth. See I like this a lot more than the Z1000. I think I'm gonna have to do some, um, start doing some track days to, to get more experience for you know this kind of riding and learning lines and things like that because that's not that's not uh, as you know that's not what I do at all but it's nice to have the knowledge but yeah it's very sturdy this is very very sturdy I'd like to set this on track looks well as well Very nice indeed. Sounds amazing. So nice. Beautiful. This is one of my favourites of the day, this is. Might even be my favourite. This or the Beamer. I feel more planted on this than anything else I've been on apart from the Beamer. I'd like to give the MT-10 another play on, on dry roads because, um, as I said, it was, it was on the wet track and every gear the front wheel were trying to come up just from, just from you know, giving it some. What a great route this has been today. Oh. Well folks, we're nearing the end of a very, very, very good day. Like I said, let's hope it's the first of uh, many little shindigs like this. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been great to come and meet a load of new people few people I've clicked with more than others probably down to language barriers and stuff but uh yeah what a super 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 day eh <laughs> God, that sounds amazing, that does. Folks, I think that's the last of the uh, buggering around, and it'll be uh, straight back to the circuit now. 
Well, what an amazing, I know I say that a lot, but what an amazing day. Absolutely superb. I love this bike. It's right aggressive engine. Where is everybody? It looks like I'm on my own, kids. What a beautiful engine. It's nice to have the wind in your face and all. In temperatures like this, obviously. There's a couple. Christ, that's hard to hold on. <laughs> Woo, baby, baby. Perfectly straight and solid. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thanks for watching, folks. I think I'm going to uh, oh, sign off. I got you doing your burnout up there. And, and pretty much every wheelie you've done throughout the day. <laughs> I can go then. <laughs> Circuito Monte Blanco. Oh, sign says to go other way. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Met some good lads as well. Thank you to David Johnson and to Tony. Sorry, Tony, I can't remember your surname. Thank you very much, guys, for uh, organising for me to come and do this with you. It's been amazing, and I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. But I am really desperate for a pee. Oh, and these bumps aren't helping. I'm glad I've ended up the uh, day on a bike that I love. Welcome. Bienvenidos. Welcome on. There she goes, there she goes. It's addictive, this is, this bike. God, I love this bike. This has definitely moved up into my number one spot for today. With the beamer behind it. Ready for a beer. What a day. What a day. <sighs> Absolutely shattered. Desperate for a beer. I'm going to make up for. I hope you've got my wheelies on there, mate. I have, mate. Don't worry, I've got everything. I just have some photos and videos onto a memory stick for us. Right. Lovely. So you could, like, 
the folder or whatever. I think, I'm not sure if the same ones are what's going to be on that link that they've given us. Yeah. Fingers uh, crossed because I haven't got my laptop with me. Each individual memory stick or, or not? Or we just got one that's no, got it's, everyone? it's just one we've got right, yeah. right here, right now, for yeah. those that are desperate to get stuff out. Oh, okay, right, got you, yeah. But uh, tomorrow morning they'll still be ending. And the rest will start going up on Flickr, it's, uh, well, yeah. it's probably started already. So, so. Well, folks, that has been one hell of a day. Oh, man. I'm so, so, so happy. <laughs> just amazing it's just been absolutely amazing anyway last night we uh, had to keep the reins on the beer because of today they were riding and having to do a breath test and tonight there's no reins I'm getting crushed by the weight of your words Just woke up. It's nearly ten o'clock. <laughs> I'm being picked up at half past ten, and I am so tired. I was in a whiskey bar over the road till about half three this morning with one of the Michelin guys that was on the track for eight o'clock this morning. <laughs> Sorry about that, Tony. Oh dear me. Beans, it was lovely to meet you last night and your beautiful wife, Karen. Thank you very much for coming and spending some time with us. <laughs> and sitting, sitting in a whiskey bar till three o'clock in the morning. Oh my God. That whiskey is gonna hurt me for the rest of the day. Oh dear. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna get showered, see if, I can, see if I can wake up a bit because I've got a long day ahead. Being picked up from the hotel to the airport in about half an hour. And then it is on to Schiphol, Amsterdam. It's about a three hour flight from here to Amsterdam. And then I've got about a three hour wait in Amsterdam before the connection flight to Birmingham. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a long, horrible day. I'm going to have to have lots and lots of coffee. So I'm going to see you later, folks. Thank you very much. From me down here in Seville, see you soon. <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> Where are you from, baby? <laughs> Two minutes ago, Karen was speaking full on American. I am. We put the camera on and she pretends she's posh. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> it is never, it is never 3 30 in the morning. Stop it a minute. We, we, we're in the middle of some very important business. Can we try that again, please? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye bye. Gracias. Mucho gracias. And that, folks, is the conclusion. The severe. We'll see you next time. <laughs>